The purpose of requirements management is to assure that an organization identifies and manages the expectations of its customers, internal or external stakeholders. It focuses on requirements as the elements capturing these expectations. In this video, we'll explore how Notion Solutions manages requirements in its application lifecycle using Visual Studio Team System. In defining how we manage requirements, we had three major goals. The first was to empower the business. Our customers should be in control to identify what work should be done and its relative priorities. The second was to embrace change. Change seems to always occur during application development, even when the development is being outsourced. We must be able to effectively embrace change while providing a structured way to manage that change and its consequences. The third is to provide complete transparency. Customers should have a full understanding of how requirements relate to the rest of the system being constructed and what the status of any given requirement is at any point in time. When beginning a software project, the first step is to identify the scope of what is being built. This will naturally lead into the definition of one or more requirements. The business should capture these requirements using Visual Studio Team System. To demonstrate the requirements workflow, we're going to use a team project titled Notion Timesheet. This project intends to create a time entry program that will allow users to track time against work assignments directly within Visual Studio. The business will propose requirements using Team System Web Access or one of the Team System client tools. The requirement will be entered in the state of proposed and the requirements workflow can begin. Once a customer has entered a requirement, Notion is responsible for doing a requirements analysis. A scope document is usually produced and low and high estimates are required. Once the customer has evaluated this information, the customer is able to confirm a requirement for project planning. After the requirement has been confirmed, Notion is responsible for decomposing and detailing the requirement. At that point, sub-requirements may be found, confirmed high and low estimates are added, and details are added, including the creation of potential requirements detailed specification documents. To assist with the management of requirements and their related artifacts, Notion uses a tool called TeamRM. TeamRM is a Notion-developed tool that allows for the management of requirements their associated work items, such as child tasks for this requirement, and for the creation of documents from document templates. Here we'll create a detailed requirements document directly from TeamRM using the Notion specified requirements document template. This document then will then be managed in TeamRM, linked to the requirements work item, and checked in and out of version control by the TeamRM tool. Once the document's been fully detailed, we can then use TeamRM to manage that requirement and its relationships to the rest of the work items that have already been captured into the system. This will help create a full picture of how this requirement relates to the system as a whole. Once details about the requirement and its subsequent requirements have been captured and confirmed estimates have been added, the customer is empowered to rank that requirement relative to the other requirements in the system. Based on this customer prioritization, development iterations are planned and a project schedule is maintained. Once prioritization is complete, the requirement, now part of the product backlog, can be accepted into a development iteration. When it's accepted into a development iteration, its state is moved to active. Once a requirement's been made active, it's decomposed into tasks. The detailed estimate is then added that is the sum of the estimates of those individual tasks. Over the course of the development iteration, tasks are going to get completed. Eventually, the development team will have completed all of the tasks that make up that requirement. At that point, the requirement can be moved to resolved as it's ready for test. To show the relationships of the tasks that belong to the requirement and the overall hierarchy, Notion has developed controls that snap into the work item to be able to show which tasks actually belong to this requirement and where the requirement actually sits in a grander hierarchy. Here we can see our resolved requirement and all of the individual tasks that were created 
that have led to the requirement to be resolved. We can construct these specified parent-child relationships by either taking an existing work item, selecting the parent directly from the work item, or by using TMRM to make mass selections to show which parents and which children actually relate to each other. We'll do this with the use of the work item browser. Here in the work item browser, we can query for work items and then relate those work items to a specified requirement like so. We'll then be able to see a rollup of exactly which tasks belong to a requirement. If other work items are involved, for example, this requirement has a test suite, then we'll be able to see test suites rolled up into their own folder as well. Once the requirement's been resolved, the Notion Quality Assurance process can proceed. The Notion Quality Assurance process will identify a test approach, test suites or test plans, and then individual test cases that will validate whether or not the requirement meets the customer specification. During the quality assurance process, bugs will be identified, triaged, and worked by the development team. Once all bugs have been worked and the quality assurance team has assessed that the requirement is valid, then the quality assurance process is complete. At this point, the requirement can undergo acceptance testing by the customer. The result of the previous effort leads to full requirements traceability, from the requirement to its split sub-requirements, to the tasks and bugs that complete the requirement, to the source code that constructs the system, and to the tests that validate whether the requirement meets customer specifications. All associated documents and artifacts are managed from within TeamRM and stored in version control. All of this data provides a full audit trail of the decisions that were made and how the system was constructed. Once a requirement is passed user acceptance testing, it can be deployed and its state can be moved to closed. The customer can monitor progress by viewing live team system reports that will provide real-time status to the project at any given point in time. These are the same reports that Notion project managers will be using to manage the project, so the system will be fully transparent. For more information on Notion solutions, requirements management, any of the tools that were shown as part of this video, or any other topics relating to application lifecycle management, please visit www.notionsolutions.com/alm.